I really feel that people sometimes wait until things are quite dire before they seek mental health support. And I would love to see people using a real preventative approach and just noticing when they're not feeling their best and be able to have the tools that they can utilise for themselves. That's something I would love to see people doing much earlier in their journey when it comes to mental health and wellbeing. I am Helen Diverston and I am a registered nurse and life coach. When we caught up last time, I had a few things, we discussed a few things that you would try over the week. How did they go? I am the owner operator of One Life and the business is around mental health and wellbeing and I am the person that does everything in the business. I have been a registered nurse for a number of years and after working in that role I really felt they were missing something when it came to mental health and wellbeing and I really wanted to change what I was doing and not be the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff anymore and focus on what we could do to prevent people from getting unwell. So I started to focus on what else? What else can we be doing to support mental health? And really started to look at the research around lifestyle medicine, nutritional medicine, uh, as well as psychological tips. And I've incorporated all that into my business. It's amazing, isn't it, how food can make a real difference to how we're feeling. If we, if we... So for marketing, I use Instagram, Facebook, they're the two main tools. LinkedIn a little bit as well. I use MailChimp for regular newsletters and also MailerLite as well. So that I use MailerLite because they have automatic notifications so you can subscribe someone to one of my online courses for example and they'll get a notification say once a week to say oh your next week is available. So I use MailerLite for that as well. The marketing tools have benefited my business um, in a number of ways. I've had clients come to me simply because they've followed me on Instagram for example and they've realised that perhaps I can help them in some ways. All my appointments are online and I use Zoom for all those appointments. I find that super easy and helpful. Initially there's always a bit of hesitation, oh it's not going to be the same as in person, but once you're in the consultation and once you're speaking to people, we kind of forget that there's a screen between the two of us and the connection is still really strong, so I really enjoy using Zoom. So I am doing everything in my business and the accounting tool that I chose to use was Henry. So good, so easy, all your tax is taken out before it even comes to you and um, I found their support incredibly helpful actually. Any time that there's an issue, I've messaged them and they've got back within 24 hours with answers. One of the unique applications that I use is Thinkific. So I have done a number of online courses as well around mental health, um, also about nutrition and mental health. Some of these are for health professionals. And so Thinkific is a platform where I can download or upload all the videos. People can watch the videos and then download PDFs and all the other um, accompaniments that go along with that as well. So it's very supportive actually. So they have weekly sort of webinars and seminars about how to use Thinkific better. I think for health professionals, there's a number of things that could be blocking us. We can be quite nervous about going out on our own. So that's something that can be quite challenging and also the technology can be overwhelming and I have found Digital Boost really useful for that actually because it's very simple instructions. Often you go to Google something and the instructions are so challenging that you need to actually look up the words that they're trying to explain. So I found Digital Boost is super easy, you know, SEO, how your website is doing, I found it really easy to use and really helpful actually.